This is a demonstration on how to create this 3D snowflake. When you create a 3D snowflake, you can use any kind of square paper. For this one, I used an 8x8 piece of paper, and it's about the thickness of um, photocopy paper. For this demonstration, I'm going to do a smaller version. This is a 6x6 square. Zooming in here. So you need about five or six pieces of paper to do this 3D snowflake. And I like to use a glue stick and all you need is a pair of scissors. So the first step is to fold this paper corner to corner and crease it well. And then I always say put it in front of you so it looks like a triangle or the roof of a house. And then you're going to fold this in half. So now you have a smaller triangle. Now I like to say put it in front of you so it looks like a fishtail. And then you're going to hold it from the long end here. And we're going to just snip the tip of this right off. Okay. Now from here, you're going to make about three or four cuts that go all the way up until the very end and then stop. I always like to recommend trying to keep the cuts as evenly spaced as possible. And it doesn't matter if you're holding it this way or this way, just as long as you're going straight up. So I'm going to cut, 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 and then stop. When you get to the end, try to make it nice and even again. This one's going to be a little bit longer, straight to the end. And I think three cuts works pretty well for this size paper. Okay. Now you're going to carefully unfold. I always like to grab it right here by the crease and just kind of pop it open. Flatten it out a little bit. And now you're going to put it in front of you so you have the loose ends of these diamonds on the left and right. So you don't want them on the top and bottom, you want them on the left and right. Okay. Now it's time for Mexican food. So I always like to say we're going to make burritos today, not tacos. So sorry taco lovers. So what do I mean by making burritos, not tacos? A burrito is rolling it into a tube. Okay. So that is a burrito. The incorrect way is making a taco, which would be to just kind of fold it up like this and it looks like a taco. So we need to make burritos. So you're going to start in the center, give it a nice little blob of glue, and you can use glue bottle too, it just takes a little longer to hold for it to stick. And give it a nice squeeze, and I've created one burrito, and you can see that tube there, okay? Now the key is, is you're going to flip it upside down. Flip it upside down and make another burrito. Hold it for a couple of seconds till it sticks. And flip it again. And make another burrito. And flip it again. And hold that. All right, so when you're done, you should end up with something that looks like this. Sometimes people get confused because they say, well, it looks kind of lopsided. You know, one side's a little bit bigger than the other, but that's okay. This is what you should be with at the end. So let me show you how to do that whole thing over again. So you're going to start out with a square, fold it corner to corner to make a triangle. Fold that in half. We have a smaller triangle. You're going to either cut the tip of the roof or hold it like a fishtail and cut this off. Same thing, you're just going to be cutting the tip. Okay? And then remember, it doesn't matter if you hold it this way or this way. As long as you're holding it by the longer edge, you're going to make about three or four cuts that go all the way to the end, but not all the way through and try to space them out as evenly as possible. And then 
carefully unfold. I like to grab it by the crease here. There we go. And then remember you want these loose diamonds to be facing this direction with the ends left and right. And then start making burritos. Remember, you don't want tacos, no tacos. You want burritos, okay? So you need about five or six. So I already have a few of them ready to go. Looks like I have one, two, three, four. Let me finish this one quickly. I need one more to make five. And then once you have all five or six, just lay them out all on their sides to kind of form your kind of like a star shape or it'll end up being like a snowflake. So I like to lay them out like this first so you can see the shape. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna glue them at the centers and then you're gonna glue them right here on the outside. So I always kind of like to start with the center. It's just easier for me. And I'm just adding them all along the way. Just kind of give them a little pinch. Stay nice and tight, nice and stuck. Kind of flip this around and get this last one in here. And just kind of hold those tight for a couple of seconds. Now you can already see it's starting to form. And now let's get these outsides glued. I actually learned how to do this a couple of years ago from one of my fourth grade students at um, Ben Franklin School when I taught there. And she learned it from her grandmother who was from Serbia. And that was really interesting because I have a grandfather who is from Serbia. So it was really fun to make that connection with her. So let me get this last one glued here. And now you can see your star shape. And if you do six, it ends up looking a little bit more like a snowflake shape, but this is still really pretty too. So make sure that you are just holding them tight with enough glue. And that's it. Have fun.